Well, hello and a very good afternoon. It is stage six of the Tour de France. Not happening for uh, Roglic here. He's uh, was distance with Again. the crosswinds, and now he's got this mishap now. Yeah, and it's not his first mishap in this tour, I'm afraid. Either caught out by crashes or indeed <clears throat> taking a few bumps himself. Oh, we've had a crash. Problems for Yves Lompart. Yves Lompart off his bike at the side of the road. We just saw him slipping back towards the back of the peloton, and Sean Kelly, who's rejoined me in the commentary box. Oh, dear. So dear, it's not a time to have the crash as we can see here. He just goes off the side and down he goes. But uh, yeah, we've seen a uh, number of other riders also. Um, oh, and that might well be Jakob Fulsang. Sorry, Sean, to interrupt. It is Jakob Fulsang, and there's a worry for Astana. Rudy yes, Mollard. Mollard also. And that's disappointment for Groupama FDG because, okay, in the, in the company that we're in today, it's difficult for him to win the stage. But he's the sort of rider who would go well on a finish like this on any other day. Now, sprint for bonuses is Geraint Thomas. Geraint Thomas looking to pick up two more seconds, and he does. He does very well indeed. Geraint Thomas is now at three seconds from the Evold jersey. Always a nervous moment when you see that happen. That's Simon Geske on the last left-hand side. This is Tom Dumoulin on the right. And this is a big bit of news for Tom Dumoulin, who was second in the Giro d'Italia last uh, this year, winner last year. Geske has helped him out, and Dumoulin has a fight to get back on and it's the most inopportune moment possible Richie Porte to attack with 1.2 kilometers to go looks around wonders where Geraint Thomas is and Peter Sagan is keeping the pace it's Dan Martin's turn now Martin on the right hand side second on this stage last time after that late attack from Alex Ivoyamos and it is man against man power against power legs against legs Dan Martin with a kilometer to go is looking good Dan Martin is there. Martin with 450 meters to go. And this is uh, Gallopin, we think. Rigoberto Uran dropped out the back. Rigoberto Uran is dropped out the back. And Dan Latour. Martin is Latour. going against Pierre Latour. Pierre Latour in the chase. Pierre Latour chasing Dan Martin. And he might well have him here. Pierre Latour with a chance, right in the slipstream of Martin. Martin went with over a kilometre to go, and he's still going. It's a brilliant ride for the man who took the stage at the Dauphiné. Martin looks around, he thinks he might have it. Valverde might have gone too late. Martin is there. Can he celebrate yet? Yeah, because poor Pierre Latour is tiring. It is going to be Dan Martin to win a stage at the Tour de France. This is going to be Tom Dumoulin from the winner at over 50 seconds. <gasps> And there are a few other GC guys he's going to lose time to, maybe a bit less as well. That was quite some finish, quite some stage, and it a huge win for Dan Martin. Victory, that sweet taste of revenge, you must be delighted. Yeah, honest, to be honest, my first thought is that I really hope my wife hasn't just gone into labour. You know, <laughs> she's a, it's, a, yeah, it's a great feeling to actually get a win again. So many second places at the Tour since the last one, and uh, yeah. Also, I, I was a bit nervous because of the headwind. I didn't think it was going to happen, you know, but then uh, the race went so hard up the first part of the climb that I saw everybody's on the limits and there's no teammates left, so why not have a try? So I did. And you took off very early and you managed to resist. The legs just kept, were there all the time, you know? I just don't know, like, maybe adrenaline or what, but yeah, I felt really, really good yesterday and didn't quite get an opening in the final to be able to have a, have a go, but it was... Uh, yeah, that was a sign, good sign for today, and I was really relaxed all day, really, really, not confident, but just looking forward to having a crack, you know, looking forward to racing hard on the last climb, and yeah, uh, luckily it worked out. And a great boost of confidence uh, for, for, for the GC, for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the last time I got second here, I was already a bit of time, uh, I'd lost a bit of time before. Uh, before the stage and maybe, I always thought maybe that's why they let me go but today there's no question you know they, I, uh, I just attacked as hard as I could and uh, yeah positive that I'm uh, clawing a few seconds back but more important the victory and you know it's uh, it makes this Tour de France a success for us already and anything else is a bonus now.